Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of mine. Today I have something special just for you guys. So what I'm going to show you is how to make one of these subscribe buttons right here. This is going to be the ultimate guide from start to finish. So you won't have to be hopping around from video to video to find out what to do. Just as a reminder, everything in this video is free and I'm going to be leaving links in the description below to everything. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first thing you want to do is go to your Internet Explorer, Chrome, whichever, and click on these YouTube links, which of course I left in the description below. And here we have our green screen of the animation. Next, we have the bell ring. We also have the swoosh sound effect and followed by the mouse click. Okay, good. So next you want to open up the 4K video downloader. This is basically a YouTube downloader. They have many just like this, but I use this one because it doesn't limit you on the amount of downloads you can do per day. So this works just as well. So all you have to do is just go here, click on the share button, click on the copy where you copy the link and just paste it right here. After this is done, all you need to do is click on download and of course you need to figure out where you want to save this um, in terms of of what quality you want i would say just leave it at 720p because since this is going to be minimized anyways the quality is not going to be that important so next of course just press download and that's it for this next you want to open up davinci resolve now if you do have adobe premiere or sony vegas you could do the same thing just like this but it's gonna be a little bit different for you. But for this example, I'm gonna show you how to do it with DaVinci Resolve, which of course is a free software. So there's no need to torrent it or do any illegal activity to get it for free. So next you just open up a new project file. Next you wanna click on the media pull up here and click on the file explorer and pull up the, the links that you just finished downloading. So here, here we have the bell ring sound. We have, oh, make sure you don't change the product settings. We have the mouse click, if that finishes, there you go. Mouse click, the sound effects for the swoosh, and lastly, the subscription button. Good, so we have all four project files that we're gonna work with. First thing first, let's pull our animation. So let's just see where it's at, right here. It's good. So a little quick shortcut, you can press B for the blade icon, or you can just click on the tool right here. And all you wanna do is just click on the where it starts, and click on where it finishes so right about here the rest you can just delete now we isolated this and this is exactly what we want problem is it has this green screen behind it which we don't want and it has this music first thing we're going to do is take off the green screen so we're going to go over to this color tab at the bottom and what we're trying to do is make this into an alpha channel so that the subscription button is isolated from the background so you can throw anything in the background and the subscription button won't get in the way. Just go here and click on add alpha output and drag this blue square to this blue circle. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is go to this little color picker tool right here, click on it and all you want to do is you want to take off the green so you just click on the green perfect now if you see here it did the opposite of what we want it took off the animation rather than the green so all you want to do is go down here and click on invert so now this is exactly what we want problem is you still see some green so this is an easy way to do this. All you have to do is find a spot where you see a lot of green. To zoom in, all you have to use is the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. Then if you press Alt while using the scroll, you can move left and right. And if you press Control and scroll, you can move up and down. So if you look at this little mouse clicker icon here, there's a lot of green. So all we have to do is click on this little color picker tool but with the plus icon. And this is basically gonna add to what we're already doing, what we're already trying to take off. So we can just do this, take off a little bit here. And don't worry if it looks a little bit messed up, that's okay. We're gonna fix that right now. So this looks okay to me, but we're gonna need to make it better. 
So if you go down here, you can play around with the denoise, clean black, and in and out ratio. So what we're gonna move is the denoise to about five, just about that little area. Move the clean black to just about five as well. And you wanna move in and out to the negatives. So just about like negative 50, I like putting it as. So that looks pretty good. So now if we play it now, you see there's a lot less green. I did see a little bit of green over here. So let me just do the same thing we did before. Zoom in. And all you want to do is take this off. That sound that looks just about right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So let's go back. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty good. I don't see any green at all. So that looks perfect. Now what we want to do is move it to the corner of the screen because we don't want the subscribe button to be right in the middle. The biggest problem that people do is they go back over here and they click on this little crop icon or this transform icon and they decide, hey, let me just move it like this. But what this ends up doing is that this ends up moving the alpha channel as well. So what you're going to want to do instead is let's go back, leave this as is, go back to the color tool. And what we want to do is click on this little circle that you see here. It's right next to the picker tool. Then you want to click on this little square and you want to open this up so it covers the whole entire animation. Make sure you get everything. Anything outside of this is going to get cut off. So let's just play this, make sure everything's stuck inside. Okay, yeah. So as you can see there, Mouse clicker tool got a little bit cut off, not to worry. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. You guys can just go in and refine this better. Uh, for me, I'm doing this a little bit quick, so I know I just saw a little bit of green left, but I'm not going to worry about that. Next, we're going to go back to our file, and now you can move it to the corner or wherever you want. And just as a, a, a reminder, down here in the bottom left, you have the option to transform. This is what I'm using. All you have to do is click this and move it where you want to do to go. So that looks just about right. If you want to, you could also click on the expector tool and drag it manually here, but I think this is a lot faster. So I'm going to use this. So this looks just about how we want it. Perfect. Next, what we want to do is take off this sound. First thing we want to do is click on these clips here and click on linked clips. This is gonna unlink it. So now there are two separate files from each other. You could go ahead and delete this, but I like to use this as a point of reference. So next we wanna bring in our sound effects. So first thing we're gonna do is bring in our swoosh sound. Let me just press alt and, and uh, mouse wheel so I can zoom out just a bit. Find our swoosh. All right, it's right here. You can zoom in. And once again, press B in order to pull up the blade tool. And you can cut this out right here. And then you can press A to go back to your regular cursor. And you can just press backspace or delete to take these out. Next, zoom out, bring this over. And of course, what you wanna do is unlink these clips because we don't want these, uh, these top titles. All we want is the sound. Next, you can zoom back in, whoops. Zoom back in here and move this sound effect where you want it to go. You can use this previous sound file as a point of reference. So if you want, you could match it up. But what I noticed is that this previous sound file, I'm just gonna mute this top clip, is sort of like off. See if you saw that again? Yeah, so we're gonna move this sound file just about here. Let's see how this looks. Looks a little bit better. I think it's right here. Not too much. See, that looks a lot better. Yeah. Next, that looks pretty good. We're gonna copy this, or you can press Control C, paste it at the end, and we're gonna move this just about right here. This is where the animation leaves. Perfect. Next, what we wanna move in is the bell ring and the mouse click. 
you can do the same thing, right click, unlink these clips, and you can just delete the top. Next, you can just move this in wherever the bell sound comes in. Let's see. Yeah, it's right here. So we're gonna move it. We're gonna link it up with the first bell sound since our only, ours only has one little ring. That looks good. Next, the mouse clip. This, this, uh, this is a little big, so we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller. So it fits in our timeline. So we want this mouse clip to go right i think it's right here yeah we're gonna link this up right here once again make it smaller by just dragging in these edges all right so that looks good so this is how it's gonna sound let's make sure everything's right oops all right there that looks good that sounds just about right perfect now if you go and export this file the biggest problem you're going to have is that you're going to notice it's going to use back this source file rather than the audio you just put in. So what we're going to want to do is we can delete this now since we don't need this anymore. Hold down control, click on each one of these files, right click on the clip and click on link. Now it's all one file together. See? Next, what we're going to want to do is right click on this clip and click on new compound clip. I'm going to show you why you need to do this later, but just create a new compound clip. And here we go. Here's our new file. It's exactly what we want. It looks perfect. Next, we want to click on this little rocket ship. This is where you export and render. Then you just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it um, subscription animation. Then you just click on the location where you want to put this and next this is very important. What you want to do is go to format, leave this on QuickTime. On the codec, you want to change this to DNXHR. You can leave the type to well, 444 12 bit. You can change it if you want, but this is not really necessary. Then you want to go to individual clips. Now, if you click on individual clips and you did not make a compound clip, then what it's going to do is it's going to use a source file audio rather than the audio you just finished making. So make sure you click on um, individual clips, then scroll down and you're going to see it says export alpha here. Click on that. Then you're ready to add it to the render queue. Click on add to render queue and you can just click on start render. Wait for this to finish. Then you can go back to your media or your editing tab. And if you want, just to make sure this works, we're gonna bring this back into our file. We're gonna bring it right here. This is basically the same as this clip right here. Um, in order to double check that it works, go to effects library up in the top left, click on generators, click on solid color. And on this solid color, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on inspector. And for the color, change this to like, let's say blue. Click OK. Let's make this the duration of the clip. And if we play it now, as you can see, it plays on top and we have no issues whatsoever with the sound or with the video itself. And that's it guys. Remember you can use this animation for any green screen effects that you find online. Um, you could also add in any other sound effects so you don't have to use these sound effects that I just used. As long as you find this online, you can just use the YouTube downloader, get it onto your system, then put it into the software, and then just replicate what I just finished doing. Well guys, this sums up the video. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or comments at all. If this helped at all, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Once again, I'm gonna leave a link to all this stuff in the description below, so feel free to check it out. And just as a reminder, all this is free as well. So you won't have to pay a dime. You guys can use this stuff for any other green screen that comes up. Um, I told you how to solve the audio issue. I told you how to solve the cropping issue. So you can just utilize this for any other application. So that sums it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.
Oh, as a side tip, 